Welcome to Healthy Vision Talk Radio, the podcast for people in search of a physician with alternative solutions for their eye problems. From the best-selling, award-winning, world's only homeopathic ophthalmologist, here's your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. Welcome to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat, and I'm here every Sunday evening to help you conquer your vision loss. And this evening, we do not have a guest, but I thought I would devote the show to talking about cataracts. Cataracts are probably the most common eye problem that occurs when you age. And I would say that everyone over the age of 50 uh, will have an early cataract. So if you're listening out there and you're over the age of 50, I would highly suggest that you pay attention because we're going to talk about some alternative treatments and some things you can do to slow the progression of a cataract and in many cases uh, actually reverse a cataract. So I hope to hear from you. So if you are interested in talking to me or asking me a question, I will be taking calls during the show. Uh, you can reach me at 602-277-KFNX. That's 602-277-KFNX or 602-277-5369, toll-free, 866-536-1100, 866-536-1100. And for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, my name is Dr. Edward Kondrat. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist, and I'm also a homeopathic doctor, and I'm also president of the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association. This is a wonderful group of doctors, medical doctors, who supply Arizona with the best in terms of alternative care. And in case you're not aware of this, we are having a phenomenal event coming up in mid-May. It's the conference in Gala. We're celebrating the top 20 alternative doctors of America. So save these dates, May 16th, 17th, and 18th, and it's going to be held in Phoenix at the Squaw Point Hilton, located right in Phoenix, Arizona. And prior to the main conference, uh, we are having workshops that are going to be open to the public, and I'll be giving a workshop on May the 14th at 9 a.m. at the Hilton, and it'll be a morning workshop from 9 to noon, and I'll be talking about ways that you can improve your vision, ways that you can reverse eye disease. So if you're suffering from an eye problem and you don't know what to do, you're not happy with your current care, if you're afraid of surgery or injections or looking for an alternative, that will be the place to be on May the 14th. Now, if you want more information, on the workshop that I am giving on May the 14th, or if you're interested in the conference and gala that is May 16th, 17th, and 18th, uh, please go to our website, which is www.ahima.us. That's A-H-I-M-A, ahima.us. Or you can give our executive secretary a call, 602-263-3589. And that number, again, is 602-263-3589. Well, we have a knock on the door. Uh, Tom from Mesa, welcome to Healthy Vision. Yes, um, hello, doctor. I uh, have a question about uh, cataracts and also macular degeneration. Uh, recently, we've read articles on n kerosene, carnosine for cataracts, and we also heard that it was useful for macular degeneration. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, I'm familiar, and uh, thanks for that question, because that's going to just take us right into uh, my talk on cataracts. Mm-hmm. And so if you wanted to hang up and listen, because that's a 
Perfect, perfect question to begin my discussion. Uh, and I'd like to begin by talking about changes that take place in the eye when you develop cataracts. Okay, we have one other question, though, about macular. Uh, that we've read about something called the bonded melatonin, ARMD, and we wondered if you know anything about that. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that before, the bonded melatonin. I know melatonin taken at night can be very helpful mm-hmm. in treating uh, macular degeneration, uh, getting a good night's sleep, uh, maintaining your circadian rhythm, mm-hmm. essential. There was a study done in China where they took a couple hundred people with macular degeneration. All they did was give a melatonin at night to make sure they got a good night's sleep, and they made certain that they slept in a totally dark room, and the majority of those people in that study had an improvement of their vision. Mm-hmm. So I usually, I usually recommend melatonin um, uh, SR, which is a slow-release version, uh, and I would try that, but I'm not familiar with the particular uh, brand you mentioned. Yeah, it's called A-R-M-E-D, actually, and it says three uh, grams of bonded melatonin. Uh, uh, well, I would say that it sounds like it's probably a good product, but I can't make mm. a comment on it. Uh, if it's a slow-release melatonin, that's what I would recommend. Okay, and then, of course, you're going to talk about the, the anacetyl uh, carnosine and and if that has any effect on uh, macular also. Okay. Thanks, oh. for your, thanks for calling and thanks for your question. Okay, thank you. Well, it's interesting. When you do develop a cataract, and for those of you that may not be familiar with a cataract, there is a lens in the eye. It's like a small magnifying glass, and as we get older, that lens becomes cloudy, dark, opacified. And that is a cataract. And cataract comes from a Greek word, which means waterfall. And uh, the ancient physicians and doctors felt that it was a waterfall or clotting that came over your eye. Uh, But actually, it is a change inside the lens of the eye. And often when you do get a cataract, you will get a change in your prescription. Uh, Sometimes they call it second sight. Uh, by some remarkable reason, you no longer need your reading glasses because as the cataract grows, the lens becomes harder, you have a greater refractive index, and you start to become nearsighted. So you find out that you don't need reading glasses. So that can be kind of a benefit from getting a cataract. Now, physiologically or chemically, ascorbic acid levels decrease in the aqueous that bathes the lens, and also glutathione levels. So many um, uh, approaches have been somehow to increase the ascorbic acid levels and also the glutathione levels. And the product that was questioned, N-acetylcarnosine, is one such product that helps increase those levels. Uh, but when we come back, I'm going to talk about some other eye drops because the N-acetylcarnosine eye drop, I have not found to actually reverse cataracts. I have found that it helps to slow the progression. And I think that it probably has very little effect in the treatment of macular degeneration. But when we come back, I'm going to talk about a couple of other eye drops that I have found to be effective in reversing cataracts. So you're listening to Healthy Vision. This is your host, uh, Dr. Edward Kondrat, and I would like to hear from you. So if you're out there and you have a question regarding your eye, um, you're listening to the right program, you can reach me at KFNX 602-277-5369 at 602-277-5369 or toll free at 866 866- Five three six eleven hundred. That's eight six six five three six eleven hundred. So when we come back from break. I'm going to be talking more about the alternative treatments of cataracts, and I'm going to begin to discuss some eye drops that I feel can 
reverse cataracts. So be right back after this break. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Are you looking for more natural alternative medical solutions but aren't finding them from traditional doctors? Do you wish your doctor spent more time helping you prevent health problems? Join us for the Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America Conference and Gala. For the price of a doctor's visit, you can attend workshops and personally meet and greet each doctor. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. All participants will receive a copy of the best-selling book, Top Alternative Doctors of America. The event will be held in Phoenix, May 14th through the 18th at the Hilton Point Hotel at Squaw Peak. Register now and save. Find those medical solutions using a more natural, safe way at this special event. For more information or to register, go to ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. Get started with MCS. Want to learn more about microcurrent and how it can improve your health? Many alternative doctors feel that microcurrent treatment is a safe and effective way to change your body's energy to relieve pain and stimulate healing. It is now known that electrical activity occurs at the cellular level and that there is deficient electrical activity around areas of disease such as tumors, inflammation, or areas of poor blood flow. Disease is a lack of electrons. Let microcurrent put them back into your body. We are now offering a two-day training workshop for the public on how microcurrent can benefit you. This course will teach you the basics to begin using microcurrent for yourself and your family. This program will be held at the American Medical College of Homeopathy in Phoenix, Arizona and the Florida Wellness Center. Please call the office at 800-430-9328 for more information. That number again, 800-430-9328. Get started on using microcurrent now. Call this number, 800-430-9328. Learn more about microcurrent and how it can improve your health. Call 800-430-9328. Can changing your voice change your health and vision? Homeopathic doctors have observed an emotional component that is the cause or contributing factor to disease. This emotion is linked to your voice. There are now methods of analyzing and changing tones in your voice that are linked to disease. As you speak, your voice carries the energy and your perception of the world. Voice reframing is a technique that facilitates a different view of your perception and can help improve your health. The primary feedback comes from changing your voice. Evox perception reframing is a technique to change the old perceptions that may be causing you to be stuck and damaging your health. We are offering a special Evox Perception Reframing at a 20% discount for the first 10 callers. Call 800-430-9328. Call now to see if you qualify for this discount, a savings of $200. The discount is limited to only the first 10 callers. There are now methods of analyzing and changing tones in your voice that are linked to disease. Call 800-430-9328. That's 800-430-9328. Investors try to predict market trends, but the key to successful investing is eliminating guesswork and emotion. So an investment model based on key indicators yields stronger returns. Arlington Capital Management has successfully implemented a model called Proactive Asset Allocation Strategy, or PAS. It eliminates guesswork, timing, and the outdated buy and hold strategy. For example, the PAS model shifted to cash in 08, avoiding the bear market and 49% decline in the S&P, then shifted back in 09 when the S&P gained 110%. I'm Joel Lepresti, president of Arlington Capital and creator of our proprietary PAS investment model, which addresses the questions of when to buy, what to own, and when to sell. I'd like to offer you our current PAS weekly update without obligation for your review. Please call 855-471-5796. That's 855-471-5796. Or request it online at arlington-capital.com. Empowered Investing with Joe Lepresti every Monday at 4 p.m. Log on and listen live. 1100 KFNX.com. Uh, welcome back to the Health Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. And we're talking about cataracts, alternative treatments to help reverse cataracts. And we started our 
discussion about can C, which is L carnosine, and this is an over the counter eye drop, and I have found that this drop can help slow the progression, but I have not found it to reverse cataracts. There's another over the counter drop called Cineraria maritima. This is a homeopathic eye drop, widely used in India and also widely used in the United States. And I believe that this drop also helps slow the progression of the cataract, but I have not seen it actually reverse. Now, when we talk about slowing the progression of a cataract, that in itself can be very beneficial because, remember, as we become older, as we age, a cataract continues to grow if we don't take those necessary steps to try to reverse it. So we are looking at beginning a national study at the American Medical College of Homeopathy to look at these homeopathic eye drops and actually do a formal study and following a group of people over one to two years to see if these homeopathic preparations will slow the progression. But I wanted to talk about an eye drop that can actually reverse cataracts. And this was an eye drop that was developed by my good friend, Dr. Robert Rowan. I mentioned earlier in the radio show that when you do develop a cataract, they have measured a decrease in ascorbic acid and glutathione. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C and glutathione, uh, which is a powerful antioxidant. So Dr. Rowan developed an eye drop that has a mixture of DMSO, vitamin C, and glutathione. Now, DMSO is a highly volatile solvent that helps penetration in tissue. So by mixing DMSO, vitamin C, and glutathione, we are forcing or getting the vitamin C and glutathione into the eye near the cataract to help reverse the process. And using this eye drop, I have seen close to 70% of patients have an improvement of vision using this eye drop. The only drawback with this eye drop is that it does uh, require a prescription and you do have to be under uh, the supervision of an eye doctor or an alternative doctor. So if you are interested in obtaining uh, this eye drop, uh, you could give my office a call at 800-430-9328. You would have to become a patient of mine because it is a prescription uh, product. Now, Something else very interesting that it is well known, in fact, it was documented in the Harvard study, that cataracts are re related to elevated lead in the body. And I have yet to see a patient with cataracts who does not have elevated lead, and some of the lead is just off the chart. So one of the first things that I like to do when I evaluate someone with a cataract is to measure their lead levels. And I believe that in order to effectively treat a cataract to slow its progression, you really have to eliminate the lead. You've got to get the lead out. And this requires a treatment called EDTA chelation, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. This is a chemical that circulates in the body, binds the lead, and makes it water-soluble so it's passed in your urine. Now, uh, it requires uh, uh, not just one or two treatments. Typically, you need 40 treatments, sometimes more, uh, to get the lead out. But there is a relationship between lead and cataracts. Now, there was also a really interesting study done at the University of Texas medical school, they showed that using an EDTA eye drop, uh, cataracts uh, were reversed, and this was really exciting news. So uh, right now, I am working on a new eye drop that will be very similar to Dr. Rowan's eye drop in that it contains ascorbic acid, glutathione, DMSO, and we're going to be adding EDTA to the eye drop. This could be a very, very effective way uh, to uh, 
dramatically reduce the uh, growth of the cataract to reverse the cataract. So this is going to be an ex another experimental eye drop. Animal studies have supported that the EDTA eye drop uh, reverses cataract. So those of you that are listening, if you do have a cataract, uh, the first step that I would personally do is to contact an alternative doctor uh, and the best group of alternative doctors are those that belong to the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association. You can go to the AHIMA website, ahima.us, A-H-I-M-A.us, to find an integrative homeopathic doctor and measure, get your urine measured for lead. Now, uh, the best way to measure your body for lead is not to just check your urine. You could be dying of lead poisoning and your urine will be normal because lead does not stay in your urine or blood. It goes into your bone, it goes into your brain, it goes into your eye, it goes into your fat tissue. So you need to take a substance, a chelating substance, like EVTA or another substance to help draw the lead out. So usually when we measure you for lead, you'll have what we call a urine challenge test. You will take a chelating substance, then begin drinking lots of water and collect your, your urine over a six-hour time period. This is probably the best way to measure your lead. Then um, uh, I think that if your lead is elevated, and most patients who do have a cataract will have elevated lead, I strongly recommend that you do undergo chelation treatment. Now, chelation treatment has been used in the past for the treatment of heavy metals like lead, and it's also used to treat cardiovascular disease. In fact, a national study was just published called the TAC study, T-A-C-T, -T, Trial to Assess Chelation Therapy. And this was a $10 million study that uh, looked at individuals who are high-risk cardiac patients, and they were randomized. One group received EDTA chelation, and the other group received a placebo or sugar water. The results of the test were phenomenal. The group that got chelation had a 28 to 38% lower incidence of heart disease. So we know that the EDTA chelation is improving circulation to the heart, and I could just make the assumption that it's probably going to improve circulation to the eye, help remove the toxins, and it removes lead. And lead is definitely linked to cataracts. You know, we're coming up to a break, but I'm going to tell you, when we come back, we're in a, I'm going to share with you something else that is very interesting, that cataracts may be a focal form of scurvy. Now, you may be thinking, wow, where did you come up with that idea? Well, when we come back, I'm going to talk about some evidence which indicates that vitamin C deficiency might be related to cataract development and how the steps you can take to use vitamin C to treat your cataract. So you're listening to Healthy Vision, and this is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat, and I would like to hear from you. So if you do have a question uh, regarding your eyes and you would like to give me a call, you can reach me at 602-277-5369. That's 277-5369 or toll-free. 6-536-1100 and I'll be right back after this break. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm Chris Vermillion. Nearly a million of the Catholic faithful gathering to welcome the church's two newest saints. The Blaze Radio's Tom Peace 
A historic day for Catholics around the world with the naming of two new saints. By the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, we declare and define Blessed John the Twenty-Third and John Paul the Second be saints. Pope Benedict promising to remain hidden from the world after resigning last year, but Pope Francis coaxing him out of retirement, getting him to take part in the event. Fox News religion correspondent Father Jonathan Morris calling Pope Benedict's resignation last year historic. There has never been a pope that's resigned simply because of old age. That was an, a tremendous historical act, I think an act of humility. And because of Benedict the 16th, we got Pope Francis. And I think, uh, at least I would say, that that's a very good thing. Shanta Driver, the civil rights lawyer, unsuccessfully arguing before the Supreme Court to end Michigan's affirmative action ban, repeating on Fox News Sunday that the high court's decision is motivated by race. This is a racist decision that takes us back to an era of states' rights, where white majorities can disenfranchise minority communities and now prevent us from getting higher education. The basis of the case, the 1995 decision of the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor to reject the application of Jennifer Gratz. Gratz, who is white, tells Fox News. I think that it is unbelievable that someone would sit here today and say that prohibiting racial discrimination is a racist decision. The high court's decision upholding a voter approved change to the Michigan Constitution. You can read more details about the case and see the entire exchange between the two parties involved at TheBlaze.com. This is news on The Blaze Radio Network. Truth lives here. Hi, everybody. Jim Howell from the KFNX Weather Center. What a pleasantly cool weekend it is, our last one for the month of April. And it looks like we'll be upper 70s today, upper 80s on Monday, and right at 90 on Tuesday. Jim Howell, Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Currently in downtown Phoenix, it's 79 degrees. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. You can look fabulous. You will look fabulous for just 25 bucks. Hair Again is at it again with a $25 spring special. Get a haircut, blowout style, and manicure for 25 bucks. Call 602-579-3349 and say fabulous when you schedule your appointment. Call 602-579-3349, say fabulous, and get a haircut, blowout style, and manicure all for just 25 bucks. Look fabulous. Call Hair Again at 602-579-3349. Hi, Rick and Dave here. The Elton Brothers on KFNX. Have you ever pulled in front of a listing, can't get a hold of anyone, and just wanted more info and photos? That's so annoying. Well, we have an app for you. Simply text Elton to 32323. It's completely free and downloads right to your mobile device. So any real estate sign across the valley. Text Elton to 32323 and get all the MLS info right to your phone. Immediately. The Elton Brothers, Realty One Group, putting real estate in the palm of your hand. Call Dr. Condrit for a personal consultation. Dr. Condrit is a leading alternative eye doctor, author of three best-selling books, and host of Healthy Vision Talk Radio. Call for your personal consultation with Dr. Condrit to learn what alternative therapies can help you. Take this important step today to improve your vision. Call 1-800-430-9328. That number again... 1-800-430-9328. Don't touch that dial. Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Uh, Welcome back to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Condrat. And I'd like to see uh, a lot of you at the upcoming conference in Gala. The top 20 alternative doctors in America are going to be in Phoenix, Arizona. That's May 14th through the 18th at the Squaw Point Hilton. And I'd like to see you there. I'm giving a special workshop on May the 14th. You'll have a chance to come in and spend some time with me. I'll be there from 9 a.m. to noon. This is open to the public and patients. We can talk about eye disease. I'll give you some pointers, answer all your questions. That'll be May the 14th. And then the 16th, 17th, and 18th. We are going to have our conference and gala. It's going to be a phenomenal event. Twenty of the top alternative doctors in America are going to be there talking about ways that you can improve your health and stay healthy. 
phenomenal event. If you want more information, go to www.ahima.us. That's A-H-I-N-A dot U-S. Or you can give our executive secretary a call at 602-263-3589. That's 602-263-3589. And if you can't make the event, you can share all the excitement by getting a copy of the Top Alternative Doctors of America book. This is a phenomenal book, which I have transcribed interviews of each one of the top 20 alternative doctors, and it's almost like getting a consultation, a private consultation with each one of these 20 doctors. Um, if you want more information on the book, you can go to the HEMA website, or you can give my office a call at 800 Four three zero nine three two eight. That's eight hundred four three zero nine three two eight. And if you order that book now, you'll get a twenty percent discount. That's the pre-publication price. The book is going to be released May the first. Uh, so order a copy now and save twenty uh, percent. So we're talking about cataracts, a very common eye problem, and if you're over the age of 50, there's a good chance you have cataracts. And if you're not having trouble with your vision, I would say pay attention because if you don't follow some of these steps I'm talking about, uh, it is just a natural course that your cataracts will progress. And if left untreated, it will cause a marked reduction in vision. And most likely then you'll need surgery, of course. My job is to help folks like you that have cataracts to find alternative methods to help reverse the cataracts. Uh, before we left on break, I was talking about an interesting observation that was made by Dr. Thomas Levy. Uh, Dr. Levy has uh, written a book called Curing the Incurable, Vitamin C, Infectious Diseases and Toxins. And Dr. Levy has a theory that there is a subclinical form of scurvy. You know, now in our modern society, we just do not see scurvy. Scurvy is a disease that ultimately leads to death. It's a breakdown in the collagen tissue, bleeding, and it's due to a vitamin C deficiency. And the reason why we don't see full-blown scurvy now is that vitamin C is a common additive in many food sources. In fact, they even put it in a commercial cereal and, and uh, so, some uh, soda drinks, etc. Uh, but High doses of vitamin C in Dr. Levy's book, uh, he talks about documented cases of vitamin C curing polio, herpes, hepatitis, measles, mumps, Lyme disease, and tuberculosis. And he made an interesting observation that cataracts may be a focal form of scurvy. So what exactly is Focal scurvy. Well, if you don't have enough vitamin C in your body, you are going to develop uh, stress points. Uh, for example, some forms of focal scurvy can produce periodontal disease. It's also felt that focal scurvy might be the cause for arteriosclerosis in, in our body and coronary artery disease. It is also felt by Dr. Levy that focal scurvy could be a cause of osteoporosis, and it may be a focal point of inflammation and degeneration causing Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease, and focal scurvy may be producing a cataract. So what can you do? Now, Dr. Levy feels that... Uh, by taking high doses of vitamin C, you can treat focal scurvy. In most situations, by taking one gram a day or two grams a day of vitamin C, that is not going to do the job. It's interesting that humans and guinea pigs are the only mammals 
that cannot produce vitamin C. Um, on our ranch here in Florida, we have goats. And I read an article that a goat under stress can produce up to 100 grams. Yep, you heard me right. 100 grams of vitamin C a day to fight a stressful situation. So Dr. Levy feels that if you do have a focal form of scurvy and you're under stress and you do have a disease state, you need high doses of vitamin C. And in fact, Dr. Levy gives up to 100 grams of vitamin C intravenously, uh, which is well tolerated by the body. Uh, here at the Florida Wellness Center, I've been using between 50 and 100 grams of vitamin C several times a week to try to reverse cataracts. And I think that this is a very exciting approach now uh, to treating eye disease is using high doses of intravenous vitamin C. Now, if you do have cataracts and you're interested in this type of treatment, then I would try to find a local integrative or alternative doctor uh, that can do these IVs uh, for you. Uh, IV vitamin C also will remove and act as a chelating agent for high lead. We mentioned earlier in the show that there is a link between elevated lead and cataracts. So this is uh, not only an effective method for treating a focal form of scurvy if, there, if this indeed is true, but also removing the lead. Now, there's another way of, uh, of achieving high doses of vitamin C, and there's a type of vitamin C called liposomal vitamin C. This is a form of vitamin C that's encaps encapsulated with a lecithin coating that makes it more water-soluble and makes it more readily absorbed into the body without the side effects. So when you take the typical vitamin C, whether it's powdered or capsules or chewable tablets, the average person can only tolerate three to five grams of vitamin C a day. Uh, and that is one way of treating an eye problem or uh, a stress situation, if you want to look at using vitamin C, is trying to get up to that five grams or even six grams. When you take too much vitamin C, you begin to get loose stools or some slight uh, diarrhea. So if you reach that point, then you need to back away. But by taking the liposomal vitamin C, you can take up to 10 grams of vitamin C a day and some higher without getting the side effects. Unfortunately, the liposomal vitamin C is a little more expensive, but this is a, another alternative. So number one would be considered the intravenous vitamin C which I would highly recommend, and you can talk to an integrative uh, doctor. And in Arizona, we have the Arizona Homeopathic and Integrative Medical Association. Go to their website, ahima.us, and find an integrative doctor near you. So we're coming up to another break. Uh, this is your host, Dr. Edward Kondrat. We're talking about cataracts. We're talking about alternative ways or, of treating them. Uh, we talked about some over-the-counter eye drops. We talked about some prescription eye drops. And now we just finished talking about vitamin C. So when we come back, I want to continue this discussion. And I would like to hear from you. So if you're out there and you have an eye problem or a question about your cataract or something isn't clear, please give me a call. You can reach me at 602-277-5369. At 602-277-5369 or toll free 866-536-1100. That's 866-536-1100. And I'll be right back after this break and we'll continue our discussion on cataracts.
Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Are you looking for more natural alternative medical solutions but aren't finding them from traditional doctors? Do you wish your doctor spent more time helping you prevent health problems? Join us for the Top 20 Alternative Doctors of America Conference and Gala. For the price of a doctor's visit, you can attend workshops and personally meet and greet each doctor. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. All participants will receive a copy of the best-selling book, Top Alternative Doctors of America. The event the event will be held in Phoenix May 14th through the 18th at the Hilton Point Hotel at Squaw Peak. Register now and save. Find those medical solutions using a more natural, safe way at this special event. For more information or to register, go to ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. ahima.us or call 602-263-3589. Leave with the knowledge to change your life forever. Can changing your voice change your health and vision? Homeopathic doctors have observed an emotional component that is the cause or contributing factor to disease. This emotion is linked to your voice. There are now methods of analyzing and changing tones in your voice that are linked to disease. As you speak, your voice carries the energy and your perception of the world. Voice reframing is a technique that facilitates a different view of your perception and can help improve your health. The primary feedback comes from changing your voice. Evox perception reframing is a technique to change the these old perceptions that may be causing you to be stuck and damaging your health. We are offering a special Evox Perception Reframing at a 20% discount for the first 10 callers. Call 800-430-9328. Call now to see if you qualify for this discount, a savings of $200. The discount is limited to only the first 10 callers. There are now methods of analyzing and changing tones in your voice that are linked to disease. Call 800-430-9328. That's 800-430-9328. Get started with MCS. Want to learn more about microcurrent and how it can improve your health? Many alternative doctors feel that microcurrent treatment is a safe and effective way to change your body's energy to relieve pain and stimulate healing. It is now known that electrical activity occurs at the cellular level and that there is deficient electrical activity around areas of disease such as tumors, inflammation, or areas of poor blood flow. Disease is a lack of electrons. Let microcurrent put them back into your body. We are now offering a two-day training workshop for the public on how microcurrent can benefit you. This course will teach you the basics to begin using microcurrent for yourself and your family. This program will be held at the American Medical College of Homeopathy in Phoenix, Arizona and the Florida Wellness Center. Please call the office at 800-430-9328 for more information. That number again, 800-430-9328. Get started on using microcurrent now. Call this number, 800-430-9328. Learn more about microcurrent and how it can improve your health. Call 800-430-9328. Earn two to three thousand dollars per month part time in a home based business with a purpose. Earn as much as eight to ten thousand dollars per month full time as a marketing rep for a new line of products to be released by a billion dollar company. That's right. We are partnering with a billion dollar company in an industry that is set to explode in the next two years. To get started, text the word purpose to eight eight two oh two. Earn two to three thousand dollars per month part time and eight to ten thousand dollars per month full time. Text purpose to eight eight two oh two. Tune in to the Edward Woodson Show with me, your host, Edward Woodson. We'll talk business, politics, and the things that really make you mad. Catch the Edward Woodson Show weekdays from 5 to 6 a.m. Only on Independent Talk, 1100 KFNX. Hi, this is Connie Salica. Tune into my show, Intelligence for Your Health, right here on Independent Talk. 1100 KFNX, Sundays at 10 p.m. Visit us online at 1100kfnx.com. Uh, welcome back to Healthy Vision. This is your host, Dr. Edward Condrat. And we do have a caller on the line, Terry from Cape Creek. Hi, Terry. Thanks for calling. Oh, Dr. Condrat, I'm so glad to get in touch with you. Um, I didn't know anything about you till I just stumbled upon your, your uh, program. And I want to ask you a question for my husband who's not here. A couple of years ago, he had cataract surgery, and it, it didn't go as well as we thought it would. So then he ended up having a PRK procedure done, 
and um, he's still having trouble with his eyes and having a lot of floaters and that kind of thing, and uh, he, he just turned 71, and he's always had really good eyesight up until this point. He was a pilot by for his profession for many, many years, so he always tried to take really good care of his eyes, and um, I'm just kind of concerned that things are going to keep going downhill, and I don't know what we can do to at least arrest the downward slide, or is there anything we can do to reverse some of that? Well, uh, it's, it's a dilemma because I you know, used to be an ophthalmic surgeon, and I would do a lot of cataract surgery, and in most cases, cataract operations go extremely well, but there's always individuals who will have complications. And based on homeopathic principles, I feel that cataract surgery can cause uh, suppression. Uh, what I mean, if you don't take care of the underlying problem, whether it's elevated lead or some other toxic problem in the body that's causing the cataract, then the disease will manifest in another way. Oh. In other words, he had, he had cataract surgery, but the underlying problem wasn't treated. So now he's having floaters, he's having visual problems, and he needed a PRK, which is a way to kind of change the shape of the cornea to get him better vision. So all these things are going on. So you really have to get uh, back to basics. Okay. And I mentioned, I mentioned earlier that the number one thing that I would do is to get him tested for heavy metals. Contact an integrative doctor in your area and go to the AHIMA website, A-H-I-M-A dot U-S, and get tested for heavy metals, and that would be the first thing I would do if that lead is elevated to get that treated and removed because not only is the lead probably causing uh, his initial problem with the cataract, but it will lead to other problems in his body neurological problems like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease if it isn't treated. So that would be the number one thing I would do. Also, I'm a firm believer in good diet and nutrition. Um, I would really look carefully at his diet, uh, make sure that he is only eating, you know, organic food, avoid foods that have preservatives and processed foods, etc. And I always talk about uh, a 70-30 diet, that 70% of the food that you eat should be organic, raw, living food. Um, and the reason for the raw, living, organic food is that once you cook food, steam it, boil it, heat it, it loses a lot of its nutritional value. So you need those basic building blocks in your body to help the body regenerate to help the body to heal. So those, those would be the things that I would aggressively um, look for. Getting okay. tested for elevated uh, heavy metals. It's a simple urine test. And if you can't get a hold of somebody in the Cave Creek area, that's unfortunate because my office used to be in Cave Creek. I was there for about 10 years and so I moved to Florida. Mm. But I'm still seeing patients uh, at the American Medical College of Homeopathy in Phoenix, but uh, I'm just there for a limited amount of time, and I think that you could probably find somebody uh, locally uh, that can that can do the job. And, of course, I'd be happy to consult with him over the telephone if he's interested in you know, getting some other pointers because there is a lot of things to do. And the fact that you're telling me he has these floaters, so the floaters indicate uh, toxins in the body. Oh, I didn't know really, that. Yeah, you really have to look at eliminating the toxins. And unfortunately, when you're in your 70s, you know, your elimination process is slow, your digestion, even though he may be taking a lot of good vitamins, things just aren't being absorbed in his body. So all these things um, can uh, end up resulting in an excess accumulation of toxins. So you begin to have floaters and trouble uh, with your eyes. Okay. 
Could I ask so I you one that, more question? I hope that helps. Yeah, sure. That's wonderful information. Thank you so much. Um, I'm concerned about my eyes, too. I don't have any problems except, you know, the reading small print is getting more difficult and more difficult for me. And and I have little flashes of light here and there, but not all the time. I don't know what that means. You know, the eye doctor that we go to for our checkups has told me that as long as my vision is not giving me any problems, then I'm doing okay. But I, I'm not sure I have full confidence in that. Well, I don't believe that because, you know, anytime you develop a symptom, the eye strain flashes and floaters means that something is going on in your body. And, you know, as a homeopathic doctor, we pay attention to the subtle symptoms. They mean something. And we call that a pre-disease state. You know, you go to the doctor, and he looks at you, can't find anything wrong, don't worry about it, you know. And then you go back again, and nothing's wrong. And then you go back, you know, in a year or so, and he goes, oh, you have a detached retina, you have macular degeneration, you know, you have glaucoma. Well, you know, all those symptoms that you had were kind of like an early precursor. It's your body giving you a warning sign. Your body is shaking its hand. Hello, something mm-hmm. isn't right here. So, um, you know, you really have to go back to basics. And oh. I would highly encourage you to get a copy of my book. It's called The Ten Essentials to Save Your Sight. And it talks about the ten essentials, the steps you can take to begin to uh, restore your vision. And the first chapter deals with diet. Also, if you have a chance, I'm going to be giving a workshop on May the 14th. Love to have you stop by and we could talk more uh, and join me for the uh, conference and gala that's being held in Arizona uh, the middle of May, the 14th. I would love to do that. Yeah, you can give the office a call at 800. 430-9328 Four three zero nine three two eight to get more information on that. Okay, I will do okay, that. Okay, thanks Thank for your you call. So much we're for your time. A, we're coming to an end on healthy vision, uh, and I want to thank all of you for tuning in and listening to Healthy Vision Talk Radio. And I'm here every Sunday evening uh, to help answer your questions and to talk to you about ways that you can improve your vision and ways that you can reverse eye diseases, including serious eye problems. Uh, If you would like more information, uh, please go to my website at www.healingthei.com or give the office a call at 800-430-9328. And I want to thank all of you for listening. And until next week, I hope hope you you enjoyed today's broadcast. If you'd like to learn more about alternative eye treatments, access free reports, or subscribe to Dr. Kondrat's newsletter, visit us at HealingTheEye.com. If you enjoyed today's show, please write a review. We love hearing from listeners. To hear more episodes about alternative eye treatments, click subscribe and download all of our previous shows. We wish you good health and clear vision.